Hello friends, hello neighbors, how are you? JT here. I have a very strange and unusual unboxing for you today. Um, this is what we call a good problem. Have you ever purchased anything and put the box away and forgot about it only to find it months, maybe sometimes even years later? That is the case here. Well, I, uh, I was looking for some bleach of all things and I was looking under my sink in the bathroom and I moved everything aside couldn't find any bleach but I did find this box and I think I intended on making a video about it because I blacked out all this personal stuff as I usually do with uh, my marker here so um <laughs> so you guys don't come stalking me in my house and I have no idea what this is it's tamper evident evident tape it's completely sealed, but it's been under my sink. I don't even know for how long. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing at least a year. <laughs> it was dust all over it, and uh, there's mice poop under there. I gotta, I gotta get one of those traps. But I figured, hey, I might as well. I, I intended on a, doing an unboxing video, and I might as well do it. But I have no idea what's what's in here. So let's open it up. Uh, <laughs> your guess is as good as mine. I have no idea what this is. Uh, all right, I'm gonna use a my spider cord here, my Indella. So you are witnessing this as I unbox this. Again, no idea what this is. Please comment on if this has ever happened to you because this is this is the first time this has ever happened to me. This, it was like, whoa, there's a box there, and I blacked out the address. Must be a knife. I know there's a knife. I know that for sure that there's definitely a knife in here. Should I keep talking? No. Piss people off. All right. And I'm guessing it's a buck because buck does this. Uh, They do this uh, tamper-proof tape. All right. Away with that. Hmm. It's a rather... Oh, there's two knives here. What is this? There's two knives. Look, I can feel it. One, two. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I wonder if I can guess what it is by touching it. Oh, I know where. It, I know. I know what kind of knife it is just by the box. It's a spider coat. Two spider coats. Um. Yeah. So there's spider coats. That's cool. Now let's get to what they are. What are they? I have no idea. Let's set one aside. We can probably look at the side of the box and figure that out. But that wouldn't be fun now, would it? Let's just open it up and see what it is. See if you guys can figure it out what it is as you go along here. Da da da. Da da da. Da 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 da. I don't know what this is. Seriously. What is this? What the heck is this thing? Oh, I remember what this is. This is like their version of the uh, Swiss Army knife. I totally forgot about this. This is called the C208GP. So you look it looks like you got your primary blade here. This is made in China. And you've got I'm gonna cut myself here. It's a lock back. You've got like a can opener, and you've got a screwdriver and a bottle opener, and this locks. Okay, that's cool. It's got a liner lock in it. I totally forgot about this. It's like a camping knife. That's cool. That locks. No, this one does not lock. So that doesn't lock. Neither does this. Okay. So you got a flathead and you've got a uh, can opener. That's cool. And you've got a, no, a bottle opener. And this is your can opener. All right. 
that's cool. And you've got your primary blade, which does lock via this ordinary liner lock, which is acceptable. I'm not excited about this too much. What do you think? Is it sharp? Oh, it's sharp. Yeah, good job at doing that. Uh, all right. I must have got a good deal on it. You know what? I do remember. I rem I got this from the website because they offer law enforcement discounts on the website. Um, but the knife is it's is okay. I guess it's uh. What is this? I can't see what it says there. Uh, something max. I, I'm, I, my vision is horrible. All right. Shall we go on to the next? I guess decent camping knife or, you know, if you're going camping. That's all I can think of taking this somewhere. I haven't even gone camping at all this year. I'm lazy. All right. Let's see what the other one is. Okay, should we do the same thing? Let's open little by little. Da -da. Da -da. Uh, oh, I know what this is. Yeah, you can already tell what this is. This is a, um, oh my God, a lightweight. Um, damn it, yeah. A Manix too lightweight in all black. Cool. Manix too lightweight. Golden Colorado, USA, Earth. Okay. CTS BD One N Steel. Uh, again, I'm I'm going into this blind. I normally do my research on the steels and tell you a little bit about them, but again. I really don't know much about this steel. Can you comment on it? Um, any experience with that steel? Man, this does not want to focus for some reason. Uh, yeah, it's lightweight. That's that's definitely a fact there. I'm digging the all blacked out. Nice tactical theme, motive. Let's see if it's sharp. Yeah, that's sharp. Yeah, that's sharp. Well, there you go. Um, this is a mystery. I should call this a mystery unboxing video because I had no idea what this was going to be. This is a decent knife. You know, this just reminds me. I do have a Manix 2 in uh, aqua or green, lime green, that I want to do a review on because I've had it now for probably about six months and I have beat the living crap out of it. I don't have it on me right now, but um, it's in my car. I've sharpened it a bunch of times, a bunch of nicks on it. I even got a huge gouge in the blade that I don't know what I was doing with it, chopping or something, but I've sharpened it out for the most part. But I'm digging this. This is cool. Um, this guy, not so much. Yeah. Let's, let's revisit this again. I mean, the blade is cool. It's a, a nice uh, slicey dicey blade for, you know, food prep and stuff like that. I'm digging the, the slim body on it. That's cool. And um, can opener. I, I, can't, I can't think of the last time I actually opened a can with a, you know, a traditional can opener. They all come with the pull tabs now. But I guess if I should find a 20 year old can, and I have nothing to open it with, and I have this, and there's no electricity, it'll save my life. And there you go. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It was um, definitely, I've never made a video like this before. This was on the whim, and I just thought I would satisfy my curiosity and bring you guys along with me. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please let me know if you have any experience with this type of metal, this CTS BD1N, and let me know uh, how this stands on the hardness scale, the Rockwell hardness scale, if you have any experience with it. it it's, it's sharp, man. I'll tell you that right now. It's 
It definitely cuts. Um, and let me know if anyone out there has ever heard of this. I mean, I don't know what. Maybe I needed an additional amount of money to spend so to get free shipping or something like that. But this is something I normally wouldn't have bought. Um, but needless to say, now I own it. All right. Thanks for checking in. I appreciate you guys. If you haven't done yet, please like, subscribe, hit that dingy dingy bell. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Bye-bye.